What do you usually do when you suffer from fever? The common answer is just to take up a pill to cool down your body temperature or visit the doctor who can prescribe a better medication. Similarly, our cities are suffering of an increase in urban temperatures, a well-known phenomenon called the urban heat island. In fact, in Australia, more people are dying because of heat waves rather than car accidents. Among different mitigation strategies, vegetation has proved really effective in counter the excessive heat and reducing urban temperatures. This is possible because plants transpire as part of the photosynthesis, so the released water cools the surfaces of leaves at the time that decreases the temperature of the surrounding air. Similarly, our trees are providing shade that is essential to protect people from solar radiation and to cool the ground surfaces from excessive heat. But do we know what is the exact amount and type of vegetation that is required for a particular place? Or which arrangements of trees are the most efficient in providing cooling benefits? My research responds to these questions by proposing a unique method for a more precise and accurate thermal analysis of vegetation over large urban areas. With the use of aerial imagery, I develop a new classification system for vegetation that researchers can use to predict particular climatic outcomes and to compare their results in a standardized and visually appealing way. I tested my method in Sydney and discovered that it's crucial to increase tree coverage in wide streets and green open spaces. This is necessary because walls, pavements, and buildings are irradiating heat towards people affecting their thermal comfort. In the same way that our body needs of water to reduce fever, I also found that bare soils and bright plants cannot provide effective cooling benefits in the absence of proper irrigation. Like what people's ailments can be healed through medication, my research outcomes can be used to predict and help to counter the excessive heat more effectively. In practice, my thesis can support local go government's decision making by providing the technical guidance that our practitioners need to design more sustainable and cooler cities. But we can all be the doctors for our cities, so let's start planting more trees and keep cool. Thank you.